Let's reverse sear an elk tri-tip. And let's make some crispy, cheesy potatoes. Let's get charcoal nice and hot. Tri-tip, silver skin. I'm gonna try to remove it as best as I can as it is very chewy towards the end. Trying to be careful not to remove too much of the meat. This is my first time making some elk. Now I'm gonna score the other side right where there's a thin membrane. They're gonna hit it with some Kinders, Santa Maria tri-tip seasoning. It has like some garlic, other spices, some salt. Season it real well. Now I'm gonna be using meter to track my temps. So we're gonna reverse sear it, meaning we're gonna place it opposite of the heat. We're gonna be pulling it off when it reaches an turn of 115. And we're gonna give it a sear about a minute and a half per side. Charcoal nice and hot. We're gonna be adding some of these wood chunks for a smoke flavor. Now that it's heated up to 275 degrees, place it opposite of the heat. Just let it go. Halfway through, we're gonna go ahead and flip it. All right, now let's sear it up. About 90 seconds per side, give it a nice char. Now let's uh, take it off the grill. Just let it rest for now. In a pan, a little oil. These potatoes are already parboiled, they're nice and soft. Now you wanna smash them, give them a nice crisp. On either side, hit them with some seasoning. And then we're gonna top them off with some cheese, get that cheese nice and crispy. Now a simple chimichurri sauce. We've got some dry chimichurri seasoning. Adding some red wine vinegar and olive oil. Mix it up. Set it aside. Now slice up that tri-tip. Has two muscles, one running either direction. I like to cut mine right in the center. And then we're gonna cut it against the grain. Just like that. So this came out absolutely fantastic. Go ahead and give it a go.